The ANC's 2017 Step Aside Resolution is a hot potato for the party's highest decision-making body. Tensions are brewing between those who are dealing with corruption in the party versus those who are seemingly protecting the corrupt. A number of high-ranking ANC officials who have been either fingered in alleged corruption and serious offences are now suspended the presidential Minister spokesperson Kuse Ladiko, sacked MEC of Health Bandile Masuku, ANC MP and Chairperson of Parliament's Portfolio Committee Bongani Bongo, Deputy Finance Minister David Masondo, rape accused City of Johannesburg Councillor Kenneth Mgaga, who has since asked to be placed on voluntary leave pending his trial, and ANC Secretary General Ace Mahashule. Mahashule, who's due back in court this coming Friday on charges of corruption and money laundering, amongst others, has stood his ground saying he will not step aside unless told by branches of the ANC. If branches say I must step aside, I was elected by branches at conference. I will go back to a special conference and the branches must say to me, Comrade Mahashule, step aside, I will then do so. Because it will be coming from the basic unit of ANC, the branches which voted for us at conference. Nobody and nobody can remove us. Some, like the provincial secretary of the ANC in KZN, Dumsen Ntuli, have called out the secretary general over his remarks. But one analyst believes that for the sake of the integrity of the party, all those implicated in wrongdoing should step aside until they are exonerated. It is about an individual. It's also about discipline uh, uh, of, of individuals. How disciplined certain individuals are and how best do they understand a conference resolution. So, if the resolution says uh, you are charged of corruption, you need to step aside. The first thing you do, the first the day you go and appear in court, or even before appearing in court, is to write a letter to your organization and say, based on the resolution of conference, I'm charged with corruption. I need to step aside. Those of the view that the contentious resolution will deeply divide the governing party. Because there is this uh, element of um, uh, others wanting it to be implemented and some not wanting it to be implemented, mm. it has a potential of dividing the ANC, um, which I think it's one area that the ANC would not love to move towards. It is a matter that concerns the affected leaders. To which extent do these affected leaders understand conference resolutions and to which extent do they love their own organization? In delivering the virtual January 8th statement this year, ANC President Sil Ramaphosa announced that the party's integrity commission would be strengthened further with all the members accused of corruption being brought to book for their actions. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.